Microsoft was founded on April 4th of 1975 by infamous tech mastermind and multi-billionaire Bill Gates. Since its inception, the company has gone from stretch to strength, becoming the world's largest software vendor in the world and an impressive market cap of over $1.7 trillion. It's hard to remember a time before Microsoft's existence, with the company now being synonymous with modern day tech culture and countless businesses around the world relying on its software. But is there more to this monumental company than just word processing documents and spreadsheets? In this video, we're gonna show you 10 amazing facts about Microsoft that you probably didn't know. We're Only Brands, the channel dedicated to bringing you awesome regular content on the world's hottest brands. Let's do this. Number one, working for Microsoft will rot your teeth. Microsoft ranks among the most prestigious companies in the world to work, not only because of its size and fame, but also because the company have gone out of their way to create a fun and friendly working environment for their employees right from the beginning. The staff enjoys numerous free on-site facilities, including a fully equipped gym, a health club, and even a clinic where you can get cosmetic surgery performed if you so wish. Employees are also provided with high quality professional counseling and support, along with various fitness programs and social clubs to keep them engaged and enthusiastic about coming to work. One very wholesome tradition at Microsoft is that each employee must bring M&Ms for their colleagues on their job anniversaries, the amount of which depending on the number of years they've worked for the company. So if a person has completed five years of service at Microsoft, they will bring five pounds of M&Ms on the day of their anniversary. As the saying goes, a happy workforce is a productive workforce. Though judging by the M&Ms tradition, I hope they have an on-site dentist available too. Number two, Microsoft was one of the best investment opportunities ever. Investing in a new company is always a risk, especially when the company is brand new and hasn't had enough time to prove their merits. However, investors who showed faith in Microsoft at the very beginning unsurprisingly became extremely wealthy individuals. Adjusting for inflation and other values, a share purchased at the initial offering price of $21 in 1986 would be the equivalent of more than $15,000 in 2017. Over 2.5 million Microsoft shares were traded on its opening day, raising $61 million in what some analysts refer to as the deal of the year. Looking back in hindsight, the investment seems like a no-brainer now, but back in 1986, it was quite the leap of faith. Microsoft was launched in 1975, which was still firmly in the era of typewriters. The idea of computers was all very new, and people were not straight away fond of this newfangled contraption. But the risk paid off, as it's estimated that 89% of all computers today in 192 out of all 194 countries in the world run on Microsoft Windows operating system. Number three, Microsoft headquarters is home to hordes of bunnies. You must have heard about Google renting goats to mow its lawns in an effort to maintain a low carbon footprint. Similarly, Microsoft headquarters serves as a host to numerous breeds of fluffy, lovable bunny rabbits. Years ago, an unknown individual dumped a bunch of unwanted pet rabbits around the campus of Microsoft's headquarters, who subsequently got inside the facility and proceeded to multiply rapidly, eventually overrunning the entire campus. The situation got so bad that eventually the rabbits had to be caught and neutered to prevent them from reproducting further. But thankfully, the whole debacle was resolved and the furry critters continued to live, feed, and thrive inside the premises. Oh, by the way, a lot of hard work and care goes into these videos, so if you could help us out and click that lovely subscribe button, we would greatly appreciate it. Number four, Microsoft produced the first tablet computer, not Apple. Tablets have proven themselves to be a direct and fierce competitor to desktop computers and laptops. They are compact, portable, and can perform virtually every function a regular computer can. But who was the first to release such a device? It's a common misconception that Apple's famous iPad was the first of its kind, but this in fact is not true. The iPad was first launched in 2010, featuring a snazzy 9.7 inch touchscreen, 256 megabytes of RAM, and up to 64 gigabytes of storage space. However, Microsoft actually launched the first attempt at a tablet way back in 2001. Dubbed the Tablet PC, the device boasted a whopping 128 megabytes of RAM, 10 gigabytes of storage space, and ran on the Windows XP operating system. Its prototype was released nearly a decade before the iPad, but unfortunately it failed to make its place in the market. Apple took the opportunity and completely reimagined the concept of a tablet computer, 
making it far more consumer friendly and less nerdy. Apple undoubtedly did a better job with kickstarting the world of tablets, but still, the credit goes to Microsoft for actually taking the first steps. Number 5. Microsoft was behind the Xbox gaming console. We all know that Microsoft is the creator of the Windows operating system and Office applications, but many people might not be aware of the fact that they also are the creators of the Xbox gaming consoles. Released on the 15th of November in 2001, the Xbox took the gaming world by storm, selling over 24 million units in total, 1.5 million in the first month alone. The console's name was derived from Direct Xbox, which was a piece of software Microsoft used to power its high quality gaming graphics. The initial Xbox prototype looked a lot different than what ended up being released, with Microsoft making many changes to its design before bringing it to market. Despite its overall success, there were many outspoken critics on the console's design. This even contributed to its lack of sales in Japan, which were largely down to how big and bulky the Xbox was, with one critic amusingly calling it an absurd X-shaped metallic slab. In the subsequent year after launch, Microsoft went on to release the hugely successful Xbox Xbox Live service. Xbox Live is subscription-based online multiplayer gaming and digital media delivery service, allowing players from around the world to connect and play together. Over 2 million subscribers were created at launch alone, with this figure only increasing throughout the years. It's now estimated that current subscription figures stand at a very impressive 100 million. Number 6. Microsoft produced the first ever smartwatch. While they were a bit of a slow starter, smartwatches have gained tremendous tremendous popularity in recent years, and even though they seem like a product of the 21st century, the first ever smartwatch was actually launched back in 1994 by, you guessed it, Microsoft. The device was called the Timex Datalink and was developed in partnership with watch manufacturer Timex. The Timex Datalink consisted of a number of cool features, including an LCD screen and the ability to download data wirelessly and save phone numbers to the watch's memory. The device was also certified by NASA and used in various space missions by its astronauts. Like with many of Microsoft's products over the years, the ideas and innovation was there, but the execution was somewhat lacking. So unsurprisingly, the watches did not do so well commercially, and the concept of smartwatches was soon forgotten about until they re-emerged a couple of decades later. Number 7. Microsoft saved Apple from going bankrupt. It's not unknown that Microsoft and Apple have been rivals since the beginning of the universe's conception, with Apple even filing a lawsuit against Microsoft in 1988 for allegedly stealing 189 different elements of its Macintosh operating system. However, there have been moments when the two companies have cooperated to help each other out. In the late 90s, Apple was struggling and were on the verge of bankruptcy, desperately in need of a substantial cash injection. Thankfully, good guy Bill Gates came to the rescue and bailed Apple out, investing $150 million into the company. The announcement was made at Macworld 1997 in Boston with Steve Jobs famously stating, quote, we have to let go of the notion that for Apple to win, Microsoft needs to lose. There were a few reasons behind this generous donation. Microsoft had fallen into some legal trouble in the US, with a recent ruling stating that the company had breached the Sherman antitrust laws and was subsequently ordered to split into two entities. Microsoft were also in the midst of an image-tarnishing fight over its rivalry with competitor internet browser Netscape, so some extra positive public sentiment was much needed. Microsoft also wanted assurances from Apple that their Office applications would remain compatible on Apple computers, and that Apple would drop an ongoing lawsuit which alleged that Microsoft had copied the look and feel of the Mac OS. It just goes to show that friendly rivalry in the business world is completely healthy and can even work out to be extremely beneficial. This was an especially juicy fact, right? I think this one definitely deserves a thumbs up. Number 8. Microsoft nearly bought YouTube. As well as being the biggest video sharing platform on the internet, YouTube is also the world's second largest search engine, which makes it extremely attractive as a potential investment opportunity. It's a little known fact that Microsoft was actually offered to purchase YouTube back when its value was a meager $500 million. However, due to undisclosed reasons, the deal fell through and Google went on to buy out the video sharing titan for $1.65 billion in 2006, over double what Microsoft were proposed. 
Number nine, Microsoft's favorite food is pizza. It's easy to assume that all of the geniuses working at Microsoft must have some sort of special brain food in their diet that unleashes their maximum potential. It actually turns out that that's not the case. And the most popular food at the Microsoft headquarters in Redmond, Washington is just plain old pizza. Served to over 35,000 of their campus on-site staff every day, it just goes to show that pizza is a globally loved food that doesn't discriminate. It's also worth noting that, as well as pizza, beverages and candies are also served to all the employees for free. As far as company perks go, that's not too shabby. Number 10, Microsoft employees are called softies. Microsoft recruits thousands of people each year for various jobs and positions in their offices around the world, all of whom are given the nickname softies. This might sound a little strange to those outside of the Microsoft culture, but the employees seem to think it's quite endearing. Another unusual thing we've discovered about Microsoft employees is the unbalanced ratio of male to female workers. While most companies prefer to keep this ratio as close to 50-50 as possible, Microsoft has about three times more male workers than female employees. You could also call Microsoft the land of middle-aged men, as the average age of a Microsoft employee is 38 years old. Thanks so much for sticking around until the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed it. But why stop now? Click this video right here for more awesome content.